Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today I have a lovely little miniature gift box for you. Well, it's not particularly miniature actually, it's quite a good size. It's, oh, it's two and a half by three inches. So what's that? That's going to be about six centimetres by seven and a half centimetres. Pretty good size. And I'm going to show you how it opens. There's a sort of a kind of a belly band, a top band. It's made with the envelope punch board. And that's how you open it. Isn't that lovely? I love that. I just think that's so cool. And I've made three different samples here. This was actually my first one. I wanted to use this beautiful new striped ribbon that we've got in the um, spring catalogue. And then I kind of wanted, you know, somebody said, oh, that's quite a manly one. And I thought, well, yeah. And then I decided I was going to stamp on this one. And then I decided to do a pretty girly version. So I'm going to do a kind of a, a version of this one for you. I'm going to do all of the stamping first. I'm just going to move those out of the way. You need a piece of cardstock that's only five and a half by five and a half centimetres. Or, no, it's not, it's five and a half by five and a half inches. What is that in centimetres? That is 14 by 14 centimetres. So it's not, not huge. You can get two of these from a sheet of um, cardstock, which is always a bonus. And I've chosen this time to do the background stamping. I've got Hopeful Thoughts. I've got this one here. This is Smoky Slate. So I've got the smoky slate ink because I want this sort of tone on tone look. And oh, that wasn't very good, was it? Let's push down a bit harder. So I'm just randomly stamping all over just to get a sort of a whimsical kind of a pattern going on. Where can I get that to fit? That will do there. I can get that to curl all the way around. There we go. So that's that background done. Move that out of the way. And then I've got a piece of Whisper White here. And I've got the uh, Fabulous Phrases set. I just wanted a small sentiment, but I love the font of this. I, I just think it's perfect to go with that stamp. So I'm going to stamp the beautiful keep the ink because I need that and I'm going to punch this out because I want to sponge the edge of that and then I can put the ink away and not stick my elbow in it and then I've got the melon mambo and I've got the decorative label punch because that's the one that's going in the background so I want to sponge the edges of that as well uh, let me move that out of the way grab my sponge so I'm just going to quickly do these while I've got it all here And I don't know how well that's showing up on camera. It's just dulling down the edges a little bit. And it just, can you see that? It just, just dulls those little edges a little bit. Right, put the ink away. And then I can now build this part of the box up. So you need your envelope punch board. And as I said, five and a half by five and a half inches, which is 14 by 14 centimetres, and you score it really quite simply. You line it up with the two, which is 5.1 centimetres, you punch and score, and then you slide it up to the three, which is 7.5, 7.6. It's the big white three. Everybody's is going to be the same. Everybody's punch board, whether you're a metric or an imperial girl person. Um, there are obviously male crafters. And then you just now join it up with the score. The previously scored line, you line it up with a score guide and you just keep punching and scoring all the way round. Oh, try not to flip your scoring stylus over. So you do that until you've done all four sides. And my lighting is making this glare on me, so I actually can't see my score lines. There we go. And then round the corners. Don't need the punch board anymore. Move the waist out of the way. And then fold on all of these score lines. Fold those all the way round. Put 
and this is very quick to make because you could sit and bash out all of your punching and scoring in one go if you wanted to make a load of these maybe as wedding favours or something like that and then come along and burnish so I want it to close in this fashion um, so I'm trying to think where I need to cut my lines I need to come down the length of these so with the wider with the wider triangles to one side you come down the length of these ones and then just notch in a little bit if you need to and the same up here And if you've watched my envelope punch board videos before, you'll know that I like to use mini glue dots. I find those are the easiest, they're the best way to close these little boxes up. I don't know why, I just find them easier. So choose the two that you're going to have at the bottom, decide which is going to be your top and bottom. I'm going to have this as my bottom. And then put a mini glue dot in each of those corners. And then this is how you build the box. I, like I say, I just find those easier than trying to wield, you know, minute bits of sticky strip, which hates me at the best of times anyway. And then a glue dot on here. This one's going to fold up. And then the same on the uppermost part of the one on the left. And then the inside part of the one on the right. So that when you fold the bottom up and that side over, it's caught, so that's not opening. And these mini glue dots are so strong, they're not going anywhere. And the same there. And then you can fold that bit in. Box closed. So now I just need to put it all together. So I've got the ribbon I've got this time is the Smoky Slate Chevron ribbon. I grab a length of that and cut and I grabbed the Melon Mambo whoops, one eighth of an inch ribbon but I'm not sure if I'm going to like this effect I haven't tested this combination out yet so let's have a look and see if I like it or not oh yeah that's okay yeah I can go with that well I could if I could see what I was doing it's such a dull day, it really is. Grey and overcast, I've had to bring my spotlights on and um, they're casting shadows all over the place. It's not good. There we go, shall I do a bow? I'll try a bow. That's not bad, that's kind of cute, isn't it? There we go, now I can trim off the ends of the bow and then, as you can see, it's a little bit loose there, so I just slide it up and down and it'll just make it tighter and less likely to fall off. So, let's put this together. I just want to punch out three um, flowers from the Itty Bitty Punch Pack because I just think they're cute. I think they're very sweet. Get my... Uh, spongy mat and the back of my paper piercer. I can start putting all of this together. So I've got, oh, where did I put my, oh, lost my dimensionals. Here we go. So a couple on the back of the sentiment. And into there. And then I can pick up with some mini glue dots. Somebody asked me how, what I'm actually doing when they see me wielding. I'm just picking up a glue dot with my paper piercer, which means I can accurately position that on the back of a flower, pick it up, turn it over, and then position where I want. So. those three and then I've got 
under here the basics pearls and one into the centre of each of those three just push the flowers up a tiny little bit more and then I'm using sticky strip to hold the sentiment onto the ribbon I think if you used anything else the likelihood of it falling off is kind of high so sticky strip seems to hold it quite well and then just straight down the middle vertically take the backing off position that and then that way the label will stay attached to the belly band so let's bring the others back in I hope you like it manly versions girly versions they're kind of cute aren't they I like those you can imagine those all in all your wedding colors or your baby shower colors you know if you're having a boy or a girl or you can maybe go with you know pistachio pudding if you didn't know if you were having a boy or a girl and you were just having fun but obviously you can tailor make them to anything you like but I hope you like them. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.